Shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So, this your brother Shopper, man. So, <clears throat> excuse me, Salakia. So, you know, just looking at the landscape of what's going on, you know what I'm saying? What's coming on, what's coming about, the day of the Lord, the hour of temptation, false prophets distractions, um, false doctrines that's been taught for years, Christian doctrine or whatever, all of these things, man, it's going to try you, man. It's going to try you. It's going to try you. The wickedness of the world getting worse, fighting fighting against yourself, your, your, you know, thoughts that you have and you're dealing with. So you got to be strong in these times, man. You got to be strong in these times. And you got to turn to the scriptures. Prayer, faith, and a spiritual mind is going to be needed. You know what I mean? Going to be needed. I, I didn't even mean to get this one, intend to get this one, but let's do Hey, let's get it. First John chapter 4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Yeah. So you got to try, you got it. you're going to have to try the spirits, man. You're going to have to try the spirits. Shoot, you're going to even have to try your spirit sometime, man. You know what I mean? And was that was that righteous what I did right there? Am I going off? You know what I mean? Do I need to pray? Do I need to fast? Do I, is, is the Lord trying to tell me something about what I'm dealing with? Yeah, man, you want it. Rough times, man. Rough times. And you're not going to get out of it with fighting, with car carnality. None of that shit is going to get you out of the tough the tough times, man. You're going to have to pray, man. You're going to have to pray and put your tr trust in the Lord, man. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men. Yeah, man. You got to <laughs> you gotta get yourself ready, man. You got to get yourself. We getting ready going to Jacob's Trouble. We getting ready going to um, World War Three, which is it started already. World War Three has started. It just hasn't heaten up yet where all of the players are gathered into it. But World War Three has started already. It has started. It's, the fight has started. Ukraine and, and Russia is not going to stop. That's not going to stop. And that's like the spark that's going to ignite the whole thing. It's not going to stop. NATO is going in there to help Ukraine. Ukraine is not going to beat Russia. Ukraine is, was, is not going to beat Russia without all types of help. And Putin already done said what he going to do if that happened. Putin said he not losing. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 16. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. Yeah, you got to pray, man. You got to pray, man. You got to pray, man, because we are coming into these, these, these rough and difficult, difficult times, man. Let's get 24. Faithful. Is he that called you, who also will do it, brethren, pray for us. Yeah, man, pray, 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 man. Pray, beg, ask for forgiveness, repent, stop trying to do as much as you can, man, as much as you can. Yeah, you ain't going to get be perfect, but you got to try. You got to try. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faithful is the sub now faith 
is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. So you 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 out here, you praying, and you have faith in your prayer, but you can't see it. You can't see your prayer. You can't see your faith, but you have confidence in it. You better have confidence. You better have confidence in the, in the, the names you calling on. Six, but without faith, it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. See, I have faith, man. You got to have faith in your prayers. You got to have faith in what you're doing, man. You got to have faith in what you're saying. You got to have faith that them the true names. You got to be strong. You got to be strong in these times. Isaiah 30 and 18. And therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is the is the is a power of judgment. Bless are all they that wait for him. Yeah. Gotta, gotta, you know, I just was reading down. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have faith. You gotta have faith in the Lord. You gotta have faith in your prayer. You gotta have faith in the, in the um, names that you're calling on. Because, again, like I said, prayer, faith, and a spiritual mind, it's what's going to get you through the times that's coming, man. A time like never before is coming. A time like never before is coming. So you can't be weak now. You weak now. They ain't even get started. They ain't even get started. And you'll go, people will go, oh, well, you know, you guys are doing, hey, we supposed to warn y'all, tell y'all what's coming to get y'all prepared. So when things happen, man, matter of fact, let's get this one before we get that one. Let's get this one. Acts 14 and 22. So we can all agree that this place is wicked as hell. Right. And the kingdom, the, the law got to come and set this place of right. Right. OK, so if we could agree on that. Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. There go that word again. And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. Much tribulation is coming. Much tribulation is coming, man. And when they had obtained, ordained them elders in every church and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord of whom they believe. See? Got to have faith. You got to be, you got to have your, your mind, gird up your mind, man. Gird up, man, because times is getting rough out here. So you got to be strong, man. You got to be strong. Men and women, you got to be strong, man. You got to be strong. You got to be strong because rough times is coming, man. Rough times is coming. So you got to fight them. You got to fight them demons. You got to fight them demons. Them different spirits that come on you, you got to fight them, man. We all have them, man. Like I said, you could be watching something. Something and then you will get a, a a wild ass thought jump in your head out of nowhere. Well, you got to rebuke that demon, man. You got to rebuke that demon. But to rebuke these demons, you got to be calling on the true names. Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You got to be calling on them names, man. Very simple, man. Very simple. And the more you, the more you get used to saying them, the more easier it'll become. Baruch chapter 4 and 20. I have put off the clothing of peace and put upon me the sackcloth of my prayer. I will cry unto the everlasting in my days. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord and he will deliver you from the power in the hands of the enemy. Yeah, man. Gotta cry to the Lord, man. 
You got to cry unto the Lord. You got to pray, pray. You got to have faith. And you got to be calling on the, the true names because that's what's going to separate his chosen from the ones that's not chosen. That's what's going to separate them, man. You calling on, you calling on sweet Jesus. Why, boy, Jesus? It, it's not going to help you, man. It's not going to help you. Second Edris chapter 9 and 44. A couple more we get out of here. And those 30 years I did nothing else day and night and every hour but make my prayer to the highest. Yeah. All of the men of the Lord, when they got in trouble, when they was feeling grieved with the visions that they were seeing and this and this and that, they prayed to the Lord, man. They prayed to the Lord, man. And these these were mighty men that the Lord was dealing directly with, giving visions and, and uh, giving visions and dreams so much that they was writing they they in the Bible. So, you know, these was great men, man. These were great men that the Lord was dealing with. So, if they was, you know, even Yahweh Shai, he prayed often to his, to, to, to his father. How much more us, man? Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, chapter 21 and 4. To terrify and do wrong will waste riches. Thus the house of a proud man shall be made desolate. A prayer out of a poor man's mouth reacheth to the ears of the Most High, and his judgment cometh speedily. <laughs> yeah, he that hateth to be reproved is in the way of sinners, but he that feareth the Lord will repent from his heart. Yeah. You got to you got to put your trust in the Lord, man. These times, man. These are times. They, they, these the in these times, man, I, and I say all the time, I never thought I would be doing this, teaching the scriptures, getting the understanding that I have according to what's going on in the Bible, man. And so, yeah, so I never thought I would be saying these things like this. Oh, hey, what are you going to do? The Lord calling and, and what you going to do when the Lord calls? What you going to do? Isaiah 33 and 5. The Lord is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah. The wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures shall be the stability of of the, the rough times that we're about to enter into, man. It's plain. It's very plain to see. Psalms. I was watching the elder, um, Amawa Amawa Gabar. Amawa, I think it's Amawa Gabar. Out of, um, you know, um, GMS, no, no, um, New York. And he, you know, was watching his lesson he was going into. He got this scripture. I was like, that's a, that's a beautiful scripture, man. Psalms chapter 27 and I'm going to start at 12. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I have fainted. Unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Psalms 27 and 13. I had fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Yeah. A beautiful scripture. He read that one. I was like, wow. So that kind of inspired me to do this, man. So in these times, man, these times we coming into prayer, faith, and the spiritual mind is going to get you through it, man. Everything else is going to make it tough for yourself, man. It's going to make it tough for yourself. Pray without ceasing, man. Yeah. So, yeah, so with that one, we're going to close out all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Hakwadash, 
Double honor to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle with King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Kwam Yashirah, and the Baba Baba, Rock a Thumb family, Shalom.